Hello creative people, you can have a powerful NVIDIA GPU on your PC but still may not use it just because of your ignorance or reluctance to do some research. Well, I am here with my short and precise tutorial to help you out. If your NVIDIA driver version is pretty outdated in comparison with your Premier Pro version, then you need to update your NVIDIA driver first. Go to the link www.nvidia.com slash download slash index dot ASPX which is also mentioned in the description of this video and select everything according to your NVIDIA GPU. In the download type, select Studio Driver. Install the driver as usual but no need to select the combined installation NVIDIA graphic driver and GeForce experience because GeForce experience is not a much useful software. Instead install only the NVIDIA graphics driver. Now download and install a small program named GPU-Z, link is in the description. To check if your NVIDIA supports CUDA features. My NVIDIA GPU supports both OpenGL and CUDA, which is great. If your GPU only supports OpenGL, that's also beneficial for fast rendering. But CUDA is a more advanced technology developed by NVIDIA. Now after installing the NVIDIA driver, right click anywhere on your desktop and click on NVIDIA control panel. You can also search for the NVIDIA control panel in the Windows Start menu if in case it is not there. Now inside NVIDIA control panel, go to Manage 3D settings and click on the Program Settings tab. Wait for some time to load the programs and then from the drop down menu, select Adobe Premiere. If you can't find the Adobe Premiere Pro here, then click on Add, then Browse. Go to C drive of your PC and locate the Adobe Premiere Pro's executable file. The default location of the Adobe Premiere Pro.exe file is generally inside C drive, then Program Files, then Adobe Premiere Pro CC folder with the corresponding year. Now after selecting Adobe Premiere Pro, select the preferred graphic processor for that program. Click on the drop down menu and select high performance NVIDIA processor. Now to specify CUDA settings for the Premiere Pro program, click on CUDA GPUs and from the drop down menu, select use these GPUs, then check mark your NVIDIA GPU name and click OK. Now scroll down a bit and you will find OpenGL Renderer GPU. Here select your NVIDIA GPU name. Now apply the settings and quit NVIDIA control panel. Now open your Premiere Pro project and go to File, Project Settings, General. Here change the renderer to Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration CUDA. Selecting this option will use your NVIDIA GPU more efficiently for better playback and scrubbing in the timeline while editing the project. If this option is not available for some unknown reason, don't be upset. Just quit the Premiere Pro program and open your project again in the same manner and you should see the option. Now after finishing your project editing, go to File, Export, Media. Here under the Video tab, twirl down Encoding Settings and make sure you select the Hardware Encoding option for performance. And lastly, click on Export to render your video. Now open Task Manager and click on Performance tab. Here you can see your CPU and GPU usage. My internal GPU is labeled as GPU0 while the dedicated NVIDIA GPU is labeled as GPU1. It may differ in your case. So select your dedicated NVIDIA GPU and from the drop down menu of one of the graph, select CUDA. Now you can see how much CUDA feature is working to render your video. 
you should also see a significant drop in your estimated time remaining. This is the advantage of CUDA feature. Those who have watched this video this far, I have some bonus tips for you. If your GPU doesn't support the CUDA feature, then you can select Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration OpenCL, which is also a better alternative for the least preferable option Mercury Playback Engine software only. And also, you may want to check the Enable Accelerated H.264 decoding feature within the Media tab under the Preferences menu for faster decoding of your imported video. Thanks for watching. Please show your support by liking, commenting, and most importantly, subscribing to this channel.